or welcome back. If you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Desan. For today's video, I wanted to go ahead and do a quick, honest, unpaid review of this at-home fetal heart monitor. This is the one that I used during my pregnancy. It's the Torrent Tech brand and the model is R88. I thought it would be helpful to share my opinion as well as show you guys what comes in the box. So on the front of the box, it says remarkably simple to use for instant peace of mind, crystal clear sounds you can share with the whole family and easy to read digital screen with three display modes. On the side of the box for key features, it says suitable to use after 12 weeks of pregnancy to quickly and easily hear baby's heartbeat, powerful built-in speakers with headphone jacks, headphones are not included, recording cable included to better share those magical moments with the rest of the family, compact design with user-friendly interface, 3MHZ ultra sensitive water resistant probe for utmost sound clarity and works with two AA batteries that were included. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up the box and I'll show you guys everything that comes inside. So first thing you have here are two manuals. Uh, one is English and I'm going to say the other one is French. Once you open up the manual, you'll see uh, different sections. There is the safety section, there is introductions, there are buttons and display features. Uh, there is the using of the device, so how to use the device, specifications, maintenance, and ways to troubleshoot. Next we have the ultrasound gel and you can get different size in the gel. I'm certain when I bought mine, I opted to get this smaller tube because I didn't think I'd need a lot. And it is just the Aquasonic 100 ultrasound transmission gel, uh, water soluble and hyperallergenic. And it's the same one that my doctor used when I went for my doctor's appointment. I do have two small pockets of the same gel in here and that's because I did end up running out and my doctor gave me three uh, sample packets. Next we have the headphone jack and it's, it's long enough, like it's not very short and it has the two uh, plug-in parts at the end identical um, the issue with this I found is that if you have a iPhone and it's any later than the iPhone uh, 6 I believe you're not going to be able to plug this into your phone because the iPhone plug-in for the headphones now look like this so what you will need is a connector that I've placed right up here for you to see what that looks like and you can get that online or just in Walmart was where I bought mine so that's the headphone jacks now we have the probe it has this coiled card so you can stretch it if you need to it's not as short as it looks without being stretched and it just has the plug-in that you would put inside the Doppler and then this is the part that you would put on the surface after you've applied the gel. And then we get to the actual Doppler. So on the front of the Doppler, you'll see that there's a mode button on the side here. I'll put a picture of the actual Doppler and then there is the power button in the middle. And then on the side, you've got the dark light adjustable button. On the sides, you have the volume adjuster. On the bottom here, you have the built-in speakers. And on the side, the other side, you have the holder for the probe. So you would put the probe in there like that. Now on the back you have just a little information bar and then you have the compartment for the batteries and these are the batteries, that's the AA batteries. I know some people get the 
double A's and the triple A's mixed up. So those, it uses two of those batteries. We'll go ahead and put them in because I want you guys to be able to hear how loud it is. So now the batteries are in. On the top you have the plug-in area for the headphone jacks and on the bottom you have the plug-in area for the probe. We're going to go ahead and plug the probe in so you guys can hear what it sounds like. And once I plug the probe in, I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on. Right away you can see you have that battery level indicator in the corner so you'll always know if the batteries are low or if you're going to need new batteries soon and then you have those three lines which are where your baby's heartbeat will show up and there will be a little heart in this corner here once you start uh, monitoring your baby's heartbeat obviously i'm not going to be trying this on a actual pregnant belly so you won't be hearing an actual fetal heartbeat because i'm not pregnant anymore but what i will do is i will just rub the probe on my arm and you'll be able to hear how loud this thing gets so right now the volume is at zero i turned it all the way down and we're gonna turn it up all the way you can already hear and that's what it sounds like and you can see that little heart showing up in the corner once you're reading your baby's heartbeat then it will stay so that's just how loud it gets it gets pretty loud now as for if it was worth the buy absolutely if you are like me and you are just anxious during your pregnancy this helped me to have peace of mind and just to be able to relax i will say though that you have to be careful that you know exactly where to position the probe or else you won't hear your baby's heartbeat and this could cause you some added anxiety what i will suggest that you do is when you go to your doctor's appointment just watch where your doctor placed the probe when they check for baby's heartbeat and then just repeat that once you're at home that was what i did and it worked every time if for any reason you're listening and you're not hearing your baby's heartbeat do not hesitate to contact your doctor or go into the emergency room it is always best to be safe than to be sorry so that's the entire review that's everything that comes in the box I absolutely loved having my uh, at-home fetal Doppler it was very helpful for me during my pregnancy and I hope it will be helpful for you as well I do hope this review was also helpful if so go ahead and give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for lots more helpful mom and baby content. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.